well, even the snowmen are getting in on the social distancing <laughs> restrictions. CBS2 viewer Mike Kawa sent us this photo of a pair of snowmen standing six feet apart, as they should in Frankfurt. He says his daughters, Madeline, Josephine, and Annabella, take safety very seriously. Great example, ladies. L love that. Those snowmen are likely melting, though. Live look outside right now. Our dose of winter. Oh, pretty, pretty looking skyline tonight. Not sticking around. Meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist here now with our real time weather. We've been waiting for this one, Mem Kay. Oh, Brad and Erica, finally a turn for us. But you're right, we broke a record today, three inches of snow at O'Hare. So for a daily record, that was the most snow. So you were able to make a snowman. But now any sprinkles or flurries this evening are going to clear out. So as we move through the night, we start dropping closer to the freezing mark. But skies will start clearing for us. But with that, I think with the low level moisture left over from all the snow, we could see some patchy fog in the morning. Big winds developing on your Saturday. Some could gust to 40 miles per hour. Hour, and then we're tracking a few showers come Sunday during the day. So 40 is where we stand right now. Our high was only 42. We should be at 60. So we're only about 20 degrees off, but we'll get there. It's just going to take a little time for us. So we have a cloud deck and we're looking at scattered showers sliding in from Iowa and Wisconsin, starting to get closer to Rockford. Those could sprinkle some rain or snow showers through sunset and then everything kind of falls apart and skies start clearing as we move through the night. Again, our low about 32 degrees with that patchy fog around. But I think tomorrow those winds are going to stir things up early enough that the fog should dissipate quickly. Big winds in the afternoon. And finally, we push readings into the mid and upper 50s, so that will feel better. But again, with that comes the big wind. So in the morning, we're tracking those wind gusts out of the southwest. It's a southwesterly wind component that's going to pull the milder air into the picture. But again, those winds could gust anywhere between 30 and 40 miles per hour. But it's a dry day. It's a bright day. Sunday, that's when we bring in a few scattered showers of rain. So when we track that out for Sunday, here's how we start the day. Probably in the mid 40s at daybreak. That's going to feel a little better Sunday morning, but with that comes cloud cover. A few scattered showers coming through. This is tacked on to a weak system that's going to be moving through in the afternoon. So touching 50 degrees, but I do think once that front passes, we'll start to pick up a slight lake breeze and that's going to pull in that chilly air off the lake because water temperature is still in the 40s. So it is going to be cold, but at least we're starting to turn a corner because then as we get into next week, we are seeing a high of 60 degrees come Monday, Tuesday, another front comes through dry. After that, we do warm back up into the 60s. So as I mentioned, 60 is where we should stand and we will get back to that. It's just a slow transition. So if you're frustrated with any flurries tonight, those will be tapering off just for a little bit of patchy fog toward morning and then tomorrow nice and bright, but definitely a windy one for us. But those are mild winds, Brad and Erica.